This is Mike Eccles, and we're in Black History Month. I want to talk about how we are seeing diamonds in the street, and we're walking right past them. Hi, it's Black History Month in the United States, and I want to talk to you about those cyber diamonds in the hood. Um, this moment should be a time to remember how vital leadership and access for all people is to our national posterity. The nation flourished with free labor of immigrants and people escaped from oppressive kings and yes, slaves. Black people for the most part represent the latter. There's no doubt that black people have had a tremendous impact on our changing society. But surprisingly and unfortunately, some people are unaware that the minority infusion of economic and social empowerment goes well beyond sports and entertainment. Uh, Black History Month is a time to highlight the values and achievements that diversity enables. Uh, it should identify opportunities to raise historically oppressed people. But the idea gets lost in our national approach to cyber resilience. We still reward the best grades, and we limit access to people who do not appear to have a propensity for what we call American success. The paradigm makes us all cyber vulnerable and ultimately contributes to a cyber workforce shortage. When it comes to a national challenge like cybersecurity, the political establishment is distracted with shiny objects and news grabbing breach reports. The cry for a stronger security aware society goes unheard. The national leaders stand around pointing fingers about the technical people and not the lack of resources that they have. Ironically, the people who are pointing the fingers are actually the problem. Some of the right people just are not in the room. And what does all of this have to do with Black History Month? Well, America holds the natural resources yielding the energy to power us into a secure future. If you look in these minority neighborhoods where there's uh, institutionalized racism and cycles of poverty, the federal government and corporate leaders must begin to unearth this talent instead of creating it. The rusty foundations of exclusion are going to kill us. A case in point, the weakest people across the globe can now strong arm a mighty corporation or bring down a once dominant country. It's unbelievable. Black Americans and poor people have impacted every aspect of our health and wellness. The contributions and various uh, achievements contributed to us being successful in wars and technologies that have made a lot of people very, very rich. The emerging digital threat and the weak effort to tap into the probing well and the, the, the talent that it's identified is just a part of our short American history. Garrett Morgan represented a great example of the art of the possible. He was the son of slaves, and he went on to deliver several game-changing inventions. Uh, he used an elementary school education to improve the sewing machine and gas mask. He also helped design the improved traffic light. Louis Lattimore is another black guy with impact. He is the definition of what we now call American ingenuity. He drafted the patents for Alexander Graham Bell's telephone. He also created a carbon filament light bulb. These achievements highlight the opportunities that our smartest planners are missing when it comes to predictable surprises that are the cybersecurity challenge. Our ever digitizing system is breeding a new brand of criminality. Additionally, we will collectively face the looming risk of the 1.7 million person cybersecurity challenge. So together, these forces present a serious challenge for everybody. So if we're not careful, this approach of exclusion is going to doom us all. The scenario represents the greatest predictable surprises. The good news and the opportunity brought about by all of this is that we have the opportunity to take people from underserved communities and train them and make them into professionals in this internet society. This is going to help us lower risk and it's also going to help us rise to another level. Those same once poor, poverty-stricken people now become taxpayers. It's a win-win situation. So as we move forward, let's tap into those diamonds in the hood. They're a part of America.
and they have shown in the past that they will help raise America. This is Mike Eccles, and I'll see you soon.